Valley Energy Efficiency <coughs> Financing. Um, I'd like to introduce two people that you'll um, get to know throughout this presentation. <coughs> Hold on. Cool. I forgot a very important instruction. Okay. So um, I'd like to introduce Eric Stern, who's up front, and then also Julie Carlton. So Julie is joining us from the city and county of Denver, and they are one of our um, alliances that we have in energy efficiency financing, which we'll explain further. But Julie is going to talk at the end of this program um, about a local solution that we have available to everyone who's within the city and county of um, Denver and the county of Boulder. And then Eric Stern is joining us from um, Harcourt, Brown & Carey. They are the consultant for our financing initiative. Um, this firm helped us build the program that we see today. And Eric has also been working with us um, on a number of different trade um, relations incentives for financing over the last couple of months. So the agenda for financing today, we're gonna cover these five points. So the value of financing energy efficiency. Um, this is a new um, initiative that we started from Excel earlier in 2013. And the value of financing, really, the way that we propose this is that it, it can be a solution for you. So if you've already gone through the process of identifying energy-saving opportunities, either through an on-site assessment or some kind of energy audit, um, you're just leaving those opportunities on the table if it becomes an upfront, um, if your barrier is upfront capital costs. So financing provides a solution for you. Um, the second is Eric is going to introduce two premises um, that he has a really great overview for. But essentially, um, the first, and you'll hear us say this a lot, is that financing is a tool. It can be a solution for you. Um, the second piece of that is just framing affordability and how you talk about this with some of your upper management and decision makers within your organization. How do you frame financing? So that's part of that internal decision process. Um, Eric will also introduce some tools that we have and resources that we have for customers and for trade that we've rolled out in the beginning of this year. So we spent a lot of time over the last couple of months talking to some of our um, high participating trade partners and customers who are interested in using financing and finding out what they really need as far as tools and resources and calculators and tip sheets and all of these really great things that they have now accessible to them to be able to talk about financing. And the last point there is just how the financing program works. So our program is a little bit unique in the sense that we don't actually offer the financing, but what we have are formal relationships established. Uh, we've done all of the vetting and some of the homework. So we've done the background checks on some of these financing entities and decided that this is a really great customized solution for our customers. And because of that, we're presenting you with these options. So it doesn't mean that you have to use one of the financing partners that we have established, um, but it's certainly one of the um, reputable sources that we stand behind. So uh, just a quick overview for the value of financing, where this initiative came from. Uh, we received feedback during our 2012 and 2013 DSM plan settlement that this was something that the trade and third parties felt was really important. So they wanted us to be able to introduce customers to viable, responsible solutions for financing energy efficiency. And so what happened is we took a year, did some market research, talked to some of the local organizations that have financing solutions available, and said, what do you need? What's the gap in the marketplace? If we already have financing solutions, how can we help support you? And so we have now these partnerships established with um, Elevations Credit Union on, on the business side, and also with TIP Capital. Um, and we've decided to say, you know, here's some solutions for you, um, customers and trade, and um, we stand behind them and we think that they're reputable sources. So that's kind of the, the format of our current offering. Um, and the way that we talk about our goals associated with this initiative is to say um, customers should be able to be connected to, um, to financing solutions. It, one, allows you, if you've already had an identified energy saving opportunities, it allows you to actually follow through with those and see some of those improvements. It also can be a great resource for you because it allows you to increase the scope of your work. So instead of just doing one small piece of a project, you can increase it to a larger phase one or phase two project and see more energy savings faster. So I'm gonna introduce Eric Stern. Um, like I said, Eric is with our um, third party consultant, Hardcore Brown and Carey, and he's going to talk a, a little bit about um, some of the work 
that he's been doing for us, and then we'll introduce Julie, who can talk about a local solution for you. So, uh, my name is Eric Stern. I work with a company called HBNC. Uh, we're local, but uh, now we're down in Cincinnati. But what HBNC does, uh, you get to work with financial institutions, banks, lenders around the country on how to set up energy efficiency financing. And it's interesting, and the whole goal, I think, of my job is to not make it as difficult and cumbersome as they usually like to make it. So we're not a bank or anything like that, but it's interesting that it can be really simple uh, and really streamlined and such a great investment for lenders to be involved in helping customers finance energy efficiency. But sometimes we tend to get in our own way, and so a lot of what we've been able to do with Excel Energy the last couple months is really hopefully streamline a good process for everybody to use, and if it's something that makes sense for your business, uh, then definitely you know, we hope you take advantage of it. Before we get into the details of financing, as Emily said, two quick premises, and they're largely for lenders, but they're worth sharing. If we can set the tone on these, it helps understand how to use this tool better. The first thing uh, that I like to say is, nobody wants a loan, and people forget that all the time, especially banks. The goal in life is not to take on debt. I don't wake up in the middle of the night going, you know what I want is a $75,000 loan for my business. It's, it's not the point. Although sometimes we forget that that is what I'm, that's what I, sometimes we forget that and we focus only on getting loan and we're all, thank God I got this, now we can move on. It's not the point. What financing is is a tool. The goal of this whole thing is to allow you to take advantage of opportunities to improve your business. Whether that's by reducing energy costs, by being able to upgrade the efficiency of some of your, some of your measures, uh, take advantage of multiple rebates available from Excel Energy. The goal is to use the financing to get to what you want to do. And I know this is simple and it, it doesn't really sound that deep, but it's an important factor. And once we remove that kind of thinking or set that tone with these banks, it becomes much easier to use. And please know that that concept is applied throughout this whole program. Second, and this is the difference between residential largely and then commercial large industrial uh, projects like you have in this room, Energy efficiency financing, especially for residential, just helps make things more affordable. So I'm a homeowner, my furnace goes out, uh, I didn't plan on it going out, I need to come up with seven grand and just pay tuition for the kids. I gotta figure this out. Energy efficiency financing comes along, great. I can hopefully try and swing $222 a month. I can figure out a way to get this furnace in. I'm not overly concerned with payback, et cetera, et cetera. That's the point of financing for residential. When we talk about commercial, large commercial and industrial, financing now takes on a whole different aspect. And so what we're looking at now is an investment. Your company either has its own line of capital, uh, it has other things that it can do with its money, you can staff up, you can run marketing campaigns, you can put in R&D. Financing can help make energy efficiency more competitive when those in your company, including yourself, are looking at where to spend company money. Or, better yet, financing can help present a very nice investment opportunity not using company resources or lines of credit, if that makes sense. But note, when we talk about financing for commercial businesses, I think, redundant, commercial and industrial customers, I think what we're trying to say is financing can help position energy efficiency as a more competitive investment for other things. Okay, so <clears throat> the next couple slides are on using financing to help get uh, a positive decision to do energy efficiency in your business. I'm assuming most of us in this room are in operations, procurement, facilities, management, et cetera. We're also not the only decision makers on what we decide to do with our company. We can make the recommendations. We, we are the experts, hopefully, on energy efficiency. But somewhere else in the company, we have to bring what we want to do to other people, vice presidents, CFOs, CEOs, other managers, et cetera. When you use the financing, I think it presents a whole different concept when you're asking for approval. And largely you're asking for approval from people that may not be energy efficiency experts or have the same understanding that you do. It just, we're gonna talk about it in a second, but framing your energy efficiency project using the financing presents a much more competitive case when you're trying to get internal approval to do some of the things that you think you can do. And the last bullet here, we'll go through these in more detail is, your trade partner, your vendor, your contractor can help you frame this for you, especially when they know you're thinking about financing it. Uh, they, can, they can position their bid and their project in a way that makes sense so that you'll have an easier time to move it up uh, using financing, and we'll talk through that. Okay, um, 
you you know this, but financing can help position. When you are looking at something, energy efficiency upgrade, we're going to use financing, and you have to get internal approval. I think the first thing, obviously, that we have done before is, well, I need to present to whoever my decision maker is, what is the cost of not doing this? This is potentially lower productivity, uh, unknown failure of equipment, missed energy savings, lost opportunity cost for rebate offers. That's not financing related, that's what all the energy efficiency experts in the other room can go through with you, but it's an important way to start framing it in terms of cost, because that's what we're going to come down to, money, investment. The next three are all financing. So the beauty of what the Excel Energy's new financing program can present is that the answer from someone inside the company that I just don't know if we have the cash right now. Great, I don't need it. I can 100% finance this project. I'm going to get us to a net cash flow positive monthly. So here's what I want to do. You position much nicely against other requests within your company for other things that just need capital. You don't need it anymore. You are a self-contained project now, which is a nice thing. Um, measure life and, and loan terms. Uh, we had a great lighting presentation, and the loan terms you're going to see are largely shorter than the measure life. I mean, how long the measure is going to obviously going to be operating and saving energy in your building or operation. So, not only, hopefully, with financing, can you present a nice positive cash flow measure life for, let's say, the first seven years when you have the loan. Once the loan rolls off, you've already paid for it, and you have eight years of additional savings with no cost to do it, if that makes sense. So, when you present using financing internally, you're positioning your energy efficiency projects, I think there's a nice way to break this up, which is, yeah, here's our cost for the first seven months. It can even be, in, like I said, a net positive. And then remind people that the next eight months, we're good to go. We're way beyond that. We have a lot of, it's all additional after we pay this off. And then the fourth point is, and it's kind of, it echoes the second point, which is, even if the company has the money, you have a line of credit, you have cash, whatever it is, you already budgeted for it, you can now use that capital for something else. So the point is, a lot of people that take advantage business-wise of energy efficiency loans are the companies that simply don't need to. They could pay for it on their own, but because they're specialized energy efficiency financing, might as well use it and use your capital or your resources for other things that maybe don't have as available financing resources. I hope this makes sense. Not a lot to take away from, but your trade partners or vendors can help you. I think it's fantastic to try and use financing to get to a net monthly. And it changes the tone of the discussion. And this is just a made up case. We can argue it's not good, it's not bad, it just is, right? And so it's for discussion. Instead of coming to someone internally and saying, look, I need 50 grand, we're going to do an upgrade, here's what I'm thinking. Or we're gonna, I need 40 grand after we get a rebate and whatever tax credit may be available, here's what I'm thinking. You're now repositioning your discussion using financing. Going, Look, we've been pre-approved for this financing through the program. We're getting the rebate. I have the request or the quote from our trade partner. Can we spend 20 bucks a week trying to do this for the next seven years? It just changes the tone of what you're presenting. I think that's the power of financing. Again, your goal is still to try and do energy efficiency, but financing is helping change the, the argument and the value to the company. And these are just examples. Uh, and remember, once you roll off the seven-year loan, that monthly payment of 603, gone. You're up enough, I mean, it just, it just changes everything. And showing this visually really, I think, is powerful to people within a company that haven't thought as deeply about it as you might have. All right, so the other side is trade partners. <clears throat> uh, what we like, so I start this off with energy efficiency is not always linear, as you know. So if I spend an extra five, five to $40,000 project, and I ask for the next level of efficiency, and it's an extra 10 grand, I don't get 20% more savings. I may get 30%, 40%, or 5%. So what is encouraging for trade partners to do, and you can ask your vendors or suppliers to do this, is show me the packages. If I go to this level of efficiency, what is my projected net savings? You know, give me the total cost and the net savings for each. You're gonna see these big leaps and bounds. You can then use financing to figure out what one gives me the best net monthly return, if that makes sense. So the key on this is you, know, you have to find the whatever, when you look at bids or when you work with a trade partner, you're trying not, you're not looking anymore at total cost, although it's important. You're looking more on what is the return on the investment they're getting, which is what you're already looking at anyway, but you're looking at it hopefully from a lens that now incorporates financing. And then the last thing on the third bullet is 
if someone gives you a quote and you like it, uh, my answer oftentimes is, yeah, sure, I'll do this, and I'll sign right now, and it's pending my ability to get favorable terms in internal file. I think it's a nice way, it, used this before, it doesn't obligate you to do it, but it does keep the trade partner involved in helping you put together the package and let them know that you're serious about it. And then it also gives you some negotiating power, which is, look, I'm going to do this, but you need to be on my side and now help me figure out how to pay for this. Excel Energy has really stepped up in this program a lot. And the website, and I hope, don't write anything down because it's all on the website. I should tell you that. Yeah. The, uh, you know, there's a lot of resources. We'll look at a couple uh, on the Excel Energy website. Everything you could ever want to know about this program. Checklists of what you need to do to get the quad financing, who to talk to, uh, case studies, comparison charts. The applications will be up soon, so you can download them. They're all very simple. I can't think of anything that's more than one page right now, which is a really nice, including the applications. This is meant to be a streamlined, simple program that's very specialized. Uh, pictures of what's on the website that doesn't help you now, but note that they exist. I want to show you that they're real and that they are out there. The other thing on there is a calculator. And look, you all have internal calculators that you use for various things, and there's great financing calculators. Sonergy has made a very simple calculator that you can use. It is very straightforward. Uh, it is simply put in the total quote you've got, any type of rebate or cash down uh, that you're going to use, click in the interest rate you're looking to get from your lender. Out of that, comes a very simple monthly term sheet. And you can use that term sheet to build this kind of chart based on what you're thinking. Helps, helps you work with your trade partner, helps you work with whatever level of management you're going to deal with to really start to think about what do I need to get at in turn two in terms of terms and rates and total costs to make financing really work for my company the way I need it to work. Final thoughts on efficiency and then we'll look um, on financing before we look uh, specifically at some of the loan programs available. We get hung up a lot on rate. 2% is good, 3% is bad, 5% is good, 6% It's not always as important in this kind of right. It's important. You don't want to overpay for your capital. But at the same time, more important, especially in energy efficiency where the result of this is a, is a monthly energy savings number, term. Term is a big deal. So just don't, my advice is don't get overly hung up on 3.5%, 0.3.75%. Look at, get the best rate you can, but then negotiate and work hard on terms, if that makes sense. Um, again, the takeaway, even if you don't need the financing, I still think it's worth a look, worth a call, worth a quote. You never know what else is going on within the company where you may have had a budget, but if you can use that budget for something else, such positive things can happen, especially when you have energy efficiency financing available. And we talked about the linear aspect of energy efficiency. Obviously, you know, think of if you have financing available, even if you can use your capital for half of it, that you have budgeted, and now you can use financing for the rest, your return may change dramatically. The details of the 2014 Excel Energy, energy Efficiency Financing Program. It's all third party. Emily talked about that, and Julie from the City and County of Denver is going to go through the details of the Elevations Credit Union program. But this is a big takeaway. You're, there, Excel Energy is not loaning you the money. You're not going to pay back the loan on your utility bill. They are connecting you with a third party who has agreed to some pretty significant criteria, which is be hyper responsive and understand and know efficiency and get back to my customers immediately, customers immediately. If not, if you can't reach them on a call, Emily, I think we, we need to know about it right away so we can make sure that we have the right lenders in this program and the lenders understand that criteria. So please know that they're it's all third party, Synergy is not looking at your credit score, the lenders are responsible for working directly with you on reviewing applications, setting terms, initiating and originating and servicing the loan, all of that stuff is done via a third party. The other point is, the financing is meant to be used with the rebates. So it's not one or the other. For those that work in other markets or there's other utility programs around the country, where it's kind of either or. You can get a preferred financing resource or you can take advantage of the rebate. Not so here. You can get both. You're supposed to use both if you want to. Take the rebate for sure and then finance the rest with the third party. That's the intent of the program. It's meant to be able to allow you to take advantage of rebates that you might not have been able to use. 
or, or even potentially do more in terms of energy efficiency. This is a very unique thing from uh, utility to offer both, and I'm really excited to see how it's going to work this year. I think there's some very positive things that are going to happen. Um, you can also use another lender. You don't have to use one. So if you want to take the rebate and you have an existing leasing company or another way to get cattle, do it. There's no obligation to use any, any lender that Excel Energy has authorized or put in the program. In fact, if you have a good lender or a good partner that you use for financing, recommend them Excel Energy. They're, it's an open enrollment kind of thing. They can get out, reach in, they can reach out, get in touch, be vetted, and potentially roll right in the program as well. But please know if you have your own financing company already, no problem, continue to use it. The one aspect is hopefully that the financing companies that are in the Excel Energy program, they understand energy efficiency. You're not getting a call back going, wait, why are you replacing the lights in your building? Do they not work? You're not, no. They understand, they know what you're looking to do, they know why you're participating with Excel Energy, they know what your project is about. And then the third takeaway, the last one is, a couple of the offers will vary by county, and so before you just jump into something that's worth to check the details of where the offer is available. Some are available statewide, but uh, there is one like Julie's gonna talk about today that's available in Denver, Boulder County. Since the county is involved in helping make it happen. We saw about, we've talked about this already, but again, the finance can be used with any single rebate the program that Excel Energy offers, which is a nice thing. All of the lenders know what rebates are available. If they, quotes, pre-approve their financing for anything that you're going to do. In fact, a lot of the lenders will do more than what, more projects than the rebates that are out there. So if you have other things that aren't rebateable, you can probably roll those in and work with the Exxon Energy Financing Partner to see if they'll also cover that. Here's two examples. Again, you don't have to write this down. This is elevations and tip capital. Uh, they cover different areas. They offer different terms. There's some breakdown here. Again, this is all on the website. They're very different, and that is a very good thing. Uh, I think it's worth to, you know, if we have eight different financing partners all offering the same thing, that doesn't do anything for you. It's better to have different offers from different types of partners so you can evaluate both or all and figure out what makes the most sense for your company. Terms typically, three, five, seven, ten, it just depends. There's contact information. Again, Julie's gonna come up now and walk a little bit through the uh, Elevations Credit Union Program in partnership with Denver County. You should be able to reach someone immediately. That's a big thing on this, which is Excel Energy customers need preferential treatment in working with these lenders. The lenders, that was the agreement that the lenders offered Excel Energy to be part of this program. And if you're not ever getting that for some reason, it's important to know, but I feel really good that you're going to be able to uh, be surprised and be, have a good experience with so thank you. Uh, Julie, do you want to walk through a little bit of the Elevations program? Uh, great, thank you. Um, as Eric said, my name is Julie Carlton. I work for the city and county of Denver. Um, I work under our energy efficiency program for commercial businesses. Um, as it's probably been said, we are one example of a commercial financing option that's out there. Uh, just a short background, both Denver and Boulder County back in 2010 received funds from the Department of Energy to build what we currently run at either county as an energy efficiency program to help commercial businesses figure out what types of measures make sense for their business, make sure you capture the appropriate rebates. In 2012, uh, we launched our efficiency financing. This is a revolving loan fund that I will talk briefly about. Um, they're only available in Denver and Boulder County, so your business does have to be located within the city and county of Denver or Boulder um, to qualify, so this is uh, just an option for you. Uh, this is a case study here that was a Denver business. Um, you might have seen on the slide before that the loans start at $1,000, they max out at $150,000. This is obviously a loan that gets approved for hire. We, these are customizable loans. Um, that's sort of the, the area that we initially started these loans with, but you can take out more money. It just needs to get approved. So this company's goal, you know, looking at some of these numbers here, this may not look right for your business, but this company's goal was to go solar. Um, when they bought their uh, building about 10 years ago, the payback was not there for them. There was not a financing uh, program that was available at the interest rate that made sense for them. So um, they ultimately wanted to go solar. They did some preliminary insulation, lighting, sort of reduced their energy use, and then put on a solar system. For them, they didn't want to have any money out of pocket. You can pay some money towards your upgrades and then use the loan for maybe a few other measures. They're very customizable. Um, 
they used a uh, interest rate at 5.5 percent. That's currently the highest we've had to approve. The, the loans uh, start at 3.75, and they cap out at 9.65. It's very competitive for what's out there. There's no early payment penalties. It allows you to do the improvements now, figure out a payment plan later. Uh, they took advantage of rebates, and at the time there were tax credits. So initially their term was uh, seven years, but they're going to be paying it back in just a little over four. Some of the most common replacements we're seeing, I mean, they start at lighting for commercial is a very quick payback. Not a lot of businesses even need financing for something like that. And, you know, go all the way down to solar. Um, I will say these are currently the most common, but that's why we're here to tell you that these loans are available. Commercial, there's a lot of money to be had, especially with our programs in Denver and Boulder. So I would be curious to see what the most common, you know, upgrades are in the next year or two, because this is what we're seeing, but it may not necessarily be what you guys need. <clears throat> so ultimately, um, I may not have said this initially, but Elevations is our credit union that runs, uh, we administer the loans with them, but Denver and Boulder County run the energy efficiency advising um, at either county. So what you get is cheap money. As I mentioned before, the interest rates start at 3.75 and they cap out at 9.65, which is great. You get loan advice, which is fantastic, and if you take advantage of a loan at Denver or Boulder, we provide free energy advising as well. This is a no-cost service for any business located in Denver or Boulder County. Um, so it's, it's a little bit more personal. It makes sure that you're doing the right upgrades and um, we connect you directly with that loan uh, with the bank to make sure that the process is uh, as smooth as possible. Uh, to date, we've only given out, actually it's now up to I think 670,000 in loans. It's not very much money. Um, it's not gonna go away, as I mentioned before, it's a revolving loan fund, so as people take out loans and pay them back, more money is available to other businesses, so it's definitely something to consider. Um, and because of that partnership with the advisors through either county, we make that process really easy for you, and um, there's gonna be information on the website, so uh, definitely check it out. I think that's it. So um, just to wrap things up, um, our last slide is Act Now. I mean, review your resources. We've built lots of resources. Um, they're all on our website and there for you to use. If you see something um, that's missing and you need something additional, we are more than happy to build that for you. Um, so reach out to me. I have business cards up at the lighting table. Um, and you are more than welcome to always reach out to me and recommend that we have um, something additional for you. Um, so we'll also have, we just went out to invitation. And so we will most likely have um, some new partners that are coming on board to give you other customized solutions. If that's something that you're interested in, just check on our website. We'll probably have an update in the next two or three weeks um, to bring on new partners.